Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about the wrestlers of the earth, the Indian wrestlers, also known as Kushti wrestling. Some of the toughest uh, wrestlers you can see with the oil and the earth. Now, a lot of people, they would testify that some of the toughest people you will fight in MMA or in Jiu Jitsu or Judo are people who come from a wrestling background and based on my own observation it's usually thanks to the hardening and the conditioning that they do that hardens uh, those athletes uh, a lot of people like to think of them as warm-ups but they're far from it they're a workout in and of itself and a lot of people say that judo is a form of wrestling with a jacket and from a practical way, it is. You see a lot of these things that uh, judo players do, such as running, carrying each other, climbing the ropes, jump squats for hundreds of meters, and uh, crawling. There's just so many things that goes into it. Uh, they cannot be done with every single uh, session unless you divide the the exercises session by session but they will build a very good physique and here you see indian wrestlers share a lot of it whether it is working with a partner to carry them and holding uh, the balance walking on your hands uh, toiling the the ground where you wrestle and flattening it etc all this labor that hardens the athletes and the wrestlers in my opinion that's what creates that very uh, strong and endurant uh, fighter when you do this type of i would say workout before your uh, technique and sparring i've done it i've done a lot of it uh, in those last six years and I can tell you, your the pump that you have in your shoulders when you walk on your hands only and someone is holding your ankles or you pick someone up and you run with them or you're rowing your teammate by their sleeves while they lay on the ground, the pump you get and the loss of breath and the cardiovascular endurance that you will build, it's like nothing uh, else. And this is what builds that fighter that can go round after round and explode in the countless rounds of uchikomi the indians wrestlers and the freestyle wrestlers etc they do the same with the dummies and work with partners that makes them just honed and sharpened to the very edge of course here the manual labor you see them doing flattening the field or the soil uh, oiling it and taking care of it of course, a lot of conditioning work with dumbbells and uh, sticks and climbing up the ropes. All of it plays into building that very hardened wrestler. Again, it's all in the preparation. It's all in these countless exercises. And that what makes those guys incredibly tough. When you go through very physical demanding work by carrying someone and handling a physical body and then going in and sparring it's gonna feel not easier but you're gonna be far more accustomed and your probability of enduring long sessions and tough fights in competition is gonna be very high now these judo exercises uh, provided by akimoto i've done most of them and let me tell you, they are not a joke. A lot of the times I used to say in the past, if you are doing enough of these in judo, uh, a gym membership is most probably not necessary. And a lot of people think that these are just warm ups and I'm advocating for weakness. And no, these will very much toughen you up, not only on a muscular level, but also cardiovascular level. Imagine doing this and then running or someone uh, koala hugging you and you're running on all fours, uh, not only to the front, but also to the back. Now tell me that won't create a very tough physique. It will. Now it's not going to be the aesthetic bodybuilder type physique, maybe, probably, but if 
you cannot if you don't have time for a gym membership or they're very expensive i know in many countries they're very expensive including japan these will suffice for your discipline and uh, like kotaro sasaki says we used to go to the gym in tokai and all of it but at the end of the day it's all the randori that matters the more rounds you do the better and it's all about really crafting your uh, technique and your endurance and really going as hard as possible he says even abe hifumi uh, went to the gym maybe twice a week and he was more about nutrition and every time there was training he was there on the mat fighting and drilling and that's what made him the killer that he is it's not really just the weightlifting that will make you this monster it's really about hardening your physique and at the same time making sure that when you cannot breathe you push through more and more and lifting someone up and running uh, with them or jumping the the stairs all of it will play a role when you go and fight and this is why wrestlers in general are some of the hardest to fight so jiu-jitsu guys often say this wrestlers are some of the toughest and it's usually thanks to this i've gone to countless jiu-jitsu training and the warm-up or the conditioning is nowhere near the stuff that i've done in judo and uh, now i see why they see this difference in cardiovascular endurance and explosiveness and just that sheer uh, brute force and willingness to just keep going and fighting and uh, I do f understand why it surprises them. So when you saw those Indian wrestlers climbing up the rope, running, carrying each other, very much like judo, I can understand why it creates this very tough fighter because you are moving at a very fast pace while holding to a weight that is not fully balanced and you have to balance it and going with it. And this is the stuff that... Uh, creates a killer in a sense and i do think if jujitsu does more of these just like wrestling just like judo where you can do a lot of falling practice and conditioning practice with your partner to really handle a human body at the end of the day that's what we're doing is handling a human body and cardiovascular endurance and muscular endurance and all of it will be for your benefit so if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon. I've been doing this work for five years and it's, it's not an easy thing to do and your help would be greatly appreciated. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.